right, guys? We're gonna grab a spot. <clears throat> what we're gonna do. So, first thing we wanna do is review our basics. So we have our center of mass, which normally resides somewhere a little bit below the navel inside the body. And we have our base of sustenance, which is the surface area covered by our feet. The relationship between our center and our base affects our balance. So if I widen my base and lower my center, I will increase my balance. And then there is a point of diminishing returns where if I widen too much and lower too much, I often lose mobility. If I don't have the ability to go all the way flat, then I have more limitation. I'll lose my balance sooner and start to lose adhesion with the feet and stumble. So the first thing I want to feel is just my center relative to my body. So I can play with moving one base of support, one aspect of my foot off the ground and see that my center has to naturally shift over my leg. Right? So the best example I can give you is if I stand next to the wall and I try to remove the far leg, right away my shoulder will collide with the wall. And I need a space of deviation to allow my body to sway in order to get balance. I can likewise see with this line on the mat, if I'm standing right up against the line and I try to go on that foot, it's impossible to balance without counterbalancing as I lose support. And so all I want to see is that my center has to shift closer to my base of support. If I lift up one foot, my base of support suddenly shrinks and becomes just the sole of my foot, and my center must naturally be aligned. If I begin to project my body three-dimensionally forward, my center now rises forward somewhat into the stomach. If I extend my arms and my legs for counterbalance, my center comes up closer to the plexus. That's what's known as the floating center of gravity. So I just want to play with moving to one foot. Whether or not that foot lifts or gets light, I want to play with lifting my foot. I want to play with swaying, with squatting, touching with a hand, just exploring my center of balance and feeling my body. Take two, three minutes. That is your warm-up.